Okay. All right. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Melee is Sick! Welcome! And I hope you guys had a great week. I know I did. I've been getting to hang out with my grandma quite a bit. We've been trying to get her TV back up and running. You know, it's hard for older people to figure out this shit. And then I got to go up there and deal with it. And then I can't figure it out. So then we got to call somebody. What a pain in the dick. But anyways, I've been enjoying myself in Smash recently. I've been playing a little bit more Ultimate recently. With the uh, with the announcement of people trying to ban characters in that game, you know, I thought I'd go give my uh, my boy Kazuya a few rounds. And let me tell you guys, it's nice to be back. It's nice to be hitting all those thunder fists and lightning kicks and all that shit. It's a good time. But I think. The biggest thing going on in the Smash community this week is really I'm finding out that the Smash community is kind of against Asians. Okay, they're trying to ban riddles out of the game completely. It's pathetic. Figure out how to beat him. Start simping a little bit with some other characters. Figure your shit out, guys. Okay, don't just ban characters because, well, they're too good. Well, Fox was too good in 2012. And look where we're at today. He's still amazing. But we didn't ban him. Okay? We've learned to play against him somewhat. And yeah, does he still take a lot of tournaments? Of course. He's the best there is. Okay? But ultimate, you can't you take take one from Melee. Take one from Melee's book. And realize that the game is the game. And the person that made the game made the game because he made the game with the characters in it that he wanted. And if you're too much of a bitch to play the game, then don't fucking play. Okay, Riddles is going to kick everybody's ass, whether he's on Rid on Kazuya or, or Ken or anybody else. He's, he's the best. He's the best there is. MK Leo doesn't have a shot. This coming year. Okay, boys? That's all I've got to say. Anyways, my gaming, my smashing. It's been good recently. I've been enjoying it. I've been playing on my controller, not my Smashbox recently. I'm trying. Okay, here's my dilemma with the Smashbox or the box, as some people call it. It's the it's the getting the angles, the X and Y angles correctly when you're Firefoxing and everything has my brain thrown f for a loop. And I know it's not that hard to understand. And I think once my brain figures out what it's doing on the box, then maybe I'll start playing a little bit more ultimate on the box. But for now, I'm definitely just like going straight kind of pro controller for ultimate and then. Um, you know, I'm practicing on the box melee and then I still play on my GameCube from time to time controller from time to time. But honestly, I've been having a blast, um, you know, just trying out all these different input methods, seeing what works, you know, seeing what timing I need to get to get the correct moves off uh, for whether I'm playing Smash uh, Ultimate or Smash Melee. Honestly, I, I think the game's really um I feel like when I go play uh, Smash Ultimate and I come back to Melee, it feels like the game has slowed down a bit as far as, okay, I'm going to make a decision here as far as what string I want to use. And sure, it may be a harder string to pull off in Melee, but the fact that like I can kind of put it together in my mind or at least the uh, idea of, of like a string combo in general in my mind a little bit slower and ultimate so i think that converts to melee really nicely as far as you know what your next move is that you're gonna play when when you're playing against somebody in melees so um but honestly other than that guys there hasn't been much going on in uh in the community um i know like always uh i'd love to hear about people's locals i've been myself 
holding off on going to locals recently just because I haven't felt like my gameplay is in the spot to be very competitive. Um, and I'd like to be somewhat competitive before I start going to these events within my my town. I actually ran into my buddy the other day um, from the Smash uh, locals, and he's I think he's helping run them now, but he's been traveling all over the place playing Smash Ultimate. And from what I th was talking to him about, he, he just seems to be having an absolute blast. So I love that th the two communities can kind of help keep each other alive. I know the coin box um, tournaments have been amazing for that. They're, they're doing HBOX is now doing one week melee, one week uh, the next week. Uh, ultimate tournaments so if you're not taking advantage of that and you are a competitive player who enjoys you know getting in on on maybe making some money in smash uh definitely be checking out uh the coin box tournaments guys uh at, hosted every wednesday i believe i'll find out that for sure for next episode um but but throw it in the google you'll find out all about it um and if you don't know who HBox is, he's it, let me. If you're listening to this podcast, you know who HBox is. So, uh, but he's an amazing, amazing uh, personality for our community, and honestly, has put the ultimate and melee community kind of on his back as as far as making content and keeping the community up to the in the know as far as what's going on, and especially with all these tournaments being canceled. Um, you know, it's good to be able to stay in the loop and know what's going on, uh, especially because it's our, one of our favorite games to play, guys. And uh, the, be, the the fact that we're able to play it um, with other people and uh, compete against them is a huge part of of the whole community aspect in general. So I suggest, and I'm not, not that I'm doing this great myself, but be getting out to your locals, be, you know, taking your five bucks and, and supporting, um, the, you know, our, our game because, you know, without the people supporting it now, um, there may not be another smash, uh, bros, you know, I, I sure hope there is, um, at least I, I hope there's something along the lines that, that keeps the platform, uh, fighter genre, you know, alive and well in the future. But for now, it seems to be ultimate and melee. And, uh, you know, melee will probably always be there. And, it, you know, ultimate is definitely showing its sticking uh, points too. So uh, both great communities. And I, I love to see both, even though we're, we're struggling with tournaments being canceled, people are still in love with this game. And that's what we have to do to keep our community alive and uh, full of energy. So let's keep doing it, boys. You know, um, if you're thinking about making a podcast out there, fuck it, do it, you know, um, do it. Let me know and I'll have you on mine and, and we can do stuff back and forth. But even us small guys within the community can help, you know, build um, upon uh, stuff that the bigger guys are doing uh, right now. And, and, you know, hopefully, Within the next few years, we have a lot of tournaments that have replaced the uh, majors that have been canceled uh, in the last couple years. So, anyways, guys, um, I just, I just, there's not too much news as far as uh, Smash goes, but I know a lot of people are looking forward to uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom coming out here in uh, on the twelfth. Uh, actually, you know, nine days from uh, the the day I'm recording this. So. Um, if any of you guys are interested in helping a fellow gamer out through Hyrule, I will be um, playing in some, I'll, I'll be streaming this week and uh, next week, my Zelda adventures. So if you'd like to stop by and, you know, tell me that I'm not doing it right or, or uh, chat and, and uh, talk about Tears of the Kingdom and what you're excited about. Um, I know all of us are, lots of us are Nintendo gamers. And enjoy what they put out, even if they uh, do shit on Melee a lot. Uh, we're still uh, big fans of Zelda and, and all the, the characters that we have in Smash. So um, I'm, I'm excited to play the, the new uh, Zelda game. And hopefully you guys will all be there um, playing it as, as along with me. And uh, if you get the chance to stop by a stream, be sure to do that. We'd, I'd love to see you, man. 
So uh, anyways, guys, that has been Melee is Sick. My name's Traffy, and we'll see you next time. Be, be sure to check out my uh, um, my YouTube. Uh, you follow me on Twitter, Triumphy TV, on uh, most of the social medias out there uh, that that matter. So uh, you know, hit me up, and uh, you know, if you guys have any questions or any concerns or any suggestions for the show, I would love to hear them. You know, I I am thinking of some segments that we can maybe do in the the future to you know prolong a little bit of the episodes. I know these have been shorter. Um, but I do, you know, want to progress, you know, eventually and have more segments within the show to, uh, you know, make it longer. And eventually I'd like to have like an hour, 15 minute show where, you know, we, somebody can just, you know, put it on and listen to stuff about melee and a few, a few other guys talk about it, maybe, maybe, and have a awesome time. So, uh, oh, also if you haven't seen, uh, the new podcast, there's a new podcast this week. Um, from the golden uh, gods, the ga golden gaming gods, whatever their uh, those those smash uh, guys are, they had a show with uh, 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 Toph and um, Mango and oh, who else was on there? Uh, S2J uh, and a bunch of those guys. Anyway, so so be sure to check that out. I'm sure if you haven't seen it in your melee feed, it will probably show up. Um, you know, those guys are, are pretty far up the, the ladder as far as the uh, Smash algorithm goes. So um, go enjoy that show. And, uh, you know, if you guys enjoy the show, please uh, leave a, a five star review and uh, let me know in the comments, um, you know, just how bad the show actually is and how I can improve it. But still give me that five stars, baby. I love you. Thank you guys for listening to my rant about smash for a few minutes and uh we'll see you next week later guys <laughs>